last video we did was on the review of the Moza Air and the few issues that we had with it. And Moza actually responded after we posted and said, uh, Dear Lavika, we saw your review tested of the Moza Air on YouTube and we hope these advice will help you. Because they're Chinese broken English, of course. So what they're trying to say is camera isn't level, you need to calibrate the gimbal. So they sent over directions on how to do that, so we're going to do that. But the first thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to take a look at this PDF here. Here is the PDF they sent me for firmware upgrade. Make sure you have the most up-to-date Moza Air firmware. Please download Moza Assistant from this site. So we are going to download this right here, the Moza Assistant software. While it's downloading, let's go back to the PDF. Load the parameters, then update is finished. Please turn on the gimbal first and then close the software and run again. Select the parameters settings this time, hit OK. Follow the page return gimbal regularly and you will get the page below. Wow. Okie dokie. So this part is going to help us with the leveling. So that's what we're going to focus on. Attempting the Moza firmware update. So from here we are going to go ahead and open the assistant and then we are going to power this off. Turn on in firmware update mode. So to turn it on to firmware update mode you hold down the joystick button then turn on the power button. Then it should be blinking erratically like that. Alright so from here we're going to go ahead and plug it in. And oh Eureka we have a connection. Okay so it looks like we're going to be up to 1.026 so this is good so this is even newer than we knew about so right now we're able to do the firmware upgrade and uh, this is through the Moza assistant plugged into the PC and this is with a camera on the gimbal just because it freaks me out turning the gimbal on without something on it and as soon as the upgrades done then we're going to try to recalibrate this thing and see if we can't get a few minor things fixed here. Okay so now we're seeing current version the latest version. Uh, sorry I don't have screen capture on this computer so anyway this is what the message that we're seeing. So it looks like we are good to go. It's at a hundred percent so now we can close that and then turn off our gimbal unplug it, turn it back on, and obviously now it needs to be recalibrated. <laughs> that turned on very wonky. I'm, I'm not sure exactly why that is like that. Uh, if we hold down our reset button, oh there we go, now it's reset. And we are still slightly cockeyed, so we're going to have to go ahead and do the perimeter adjustment on this. So we're going to do the same thing again. Uh, this time we're going to turn off. And then we're going to do a long press on the power button. And I'm not exactly sure what the long press does, but we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go ahead and plug it in again. And then from here, we're going to move this stuff out of the way because I think there's a good chance I'm going to have to lie this down. So now we're going to go to parameter setting. And from here, uh, let's go to uh, calibration. Now you can see this is already set on alpha and we're at 1K gram. Uh, even though we've got the OMD EM5 Mark II on here, it's not a big deal. Usually it's the Sony that's on here and they're about the same weight. So anyway, for the calibration, um, let's go with 
uh, simple calibration is recommended. Okay, so our motor is off, correct? Yes, our motor is off. So they're saying that we take our camera off of here, take our little knuckly doodad off of there, and take our base off of here, And then they want us to lie this as flat as possible. Um, if we do it according to the photo, this is what we're seeing. So hopefully that's on the correct side. I guess that's right. All right, so we got this perfectly flat. All right, we'll go to parameter setting and we'll hit OK. And then this is the screen that pops up. And I'm sorry I'm not doing this via screen capture, but this computer doesn't have any screen capture capability on it. So anyway, <clears throat> let's go to calibration. So let me go ahead and hit start. And there we go, simple calibration success. And start again. And then it says we gotta lay our gimbal down just like that. So that's pretty much what we have here. It's just like that. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and hit OK. And then it says accelerometer calibration success. All right, so uh, let's go out in the field and see how this actually worked. OK, this is the Moza Air walking fast. This is running. Image stabilization in the camera is turned off. Again with the OMD EM1 Mark II. Okay, slowing down again. Things are looking pretty good.